Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to use all of the glitters from Glitter Pack number 65 from PDB Creative Studio to create a Milky Way floral glitter tumbler. Before we jump in to creating this tumbler, let's take a look at all five of those glitters. The first is Moonlight. It's a beautiful light blue custom mix. This is going to be perfect. Actually, this entire pack is perfect for upcoming spring designs. And then we have Rare Sparkle number 10, which is also a chunky custom mix. And then we have Goddess, which is a smaller cut custom mix, but hello, perfect mint for those pastel beach tumblers. Then we have Gumdrop, which is a very pretty lavender color. This one even has some flakes in there, which I really feel gives lots of dimension to glitters. And then last but not least is Rockabye Baby. It's that beautiful powdery light pink color, which again, I can see this one being used for some beach tumblers and Mother's Day is coming up quickly. So this would be a good one to have on hand. All of these glitters will be released on January 24th, 2023 at 12 p.m. MST time at pdbcreativestudio.com and you can use code BBS21 to save $5 off your order of $20 or more. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about spray painting this tumbler and I will tell you more about how you can get your hands on a discounted pack as soon as these packs are released monthly later on in this tutorial. So I am using a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. I feel like the 32 ounces just give you so much area or space to customize. They're really tall, so they're perfect for Milky Ways or designs that you want to use multicolors for an ombre. It just really gives you that length that you need to get those spray paint colors on there and blend them really nicely. So I am using a bunch of different color spray paints to match my glitter and I'm just going around this tumbler in a spiral effect. I went in with my darkest color first followed by my lighter colors and just going back and forth with them until I felt my colors were blending good enough that way they will not show up underneath my glitter. We are using a high quality glitter but when you go from dark to light Sometimes that can show through, especially if your glitters have opals mixed in, which is going to allow that base color to show through. I used one and a half to two milliliters of epoxy to spread that super thin all over my tumbler and then dabbed my hand all around so that it would give the epoxy texture rather than streaks so I can go directly into adding on my glitter. When you're working on a Milky Way, you don't want to go heavy on your glitter just as if you were trying to do a multicolor ombre you want to go light so that you can build your coverage up and blend those colors in together now while we are adding all of these beautiful sparkles to this tumbler let's talk about how you can get a pdb creative studio glitter pack before they are individually released and at a discounted price the first way is to be on the subscription list and there is a wait list for that i will have that linked down below for you in case you do want to sign up for the subscription list so you could just automatically get these glitter packs shipped to you as soon as they release once a month the other way is to grab one in the PDB Creative Studio group. They are released on the Thursday of the second full week of every month. And there will be a post and lives and all kinds of things to remind you when these are going to release and when you will have the opportunity to grab them at the discounted price. And of course, if you can't keep up like me, then you can get them individually once they do release on the PDB Creative Studio website. All of that information is listed down below, but if you have any additional questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll answer them as quickly as possible.
Once I have made it through all of my colors doing a very light layer, I'm going to go back in with those same colors and try to blend them as best as possible, adding just a little bit more into the center of my swirls and very lightly blending that out into the next color. Once I am finished, I'm going to knock off any excess and then take my sheet of printer paper or you can use parchment paper. Roll that tumbler up and flatten out that glitter so we can minimize the amount of epoxy that it's going to take to get this tumbler smooth. Once this tumbler is dry, I am going to seal it twice with a matte clear coat so that those glitters don't move around and I have given this a coat of epoxy allowed that to dry and then sanded. And now we are going to add on some of our mica swirls. To add on our mica swirls, we're gonna give this a coat of epoxy. You don't want it super thick to where your micas are gonna move around a lot, but of course you want enough to cover your entire tumbler. I am using my fast set, the artistry one-to-one -one ratio. And of course, don't forget to wear your respirator and gloves before you mix your epoxy up. We're not gonna go extreme on our mica selection, so we're just using Baptiste and Pure from PDB Creative Studio. I have a teeny tiny bit of epoxy left over, maybe five to eight milliliters. I'm just going to split that in between two cups and add in a little bit of mica to each. It doesn't take very much at all. And then in random spots all through the tumbler, trying to go along with the same direction as the swirl, add on some streaks of our mica epoxy. Milky Ways are not really my area of expertise, but it has been a while since I made one, so I just wanted to show you my process. There are definitely lots of tutorials out there for Milky Ways if you want to school up a little bit more than this. The very first one that I ever watched was, of course, Flynn Sisters Boutique. The Leopard Swirl Tumbler that was so popular is still so popular. After I go in with this second color, I'm going to just take my gloved hand and blend these in a little bit better. You can also blow them out a little bit with a heat gun. I just don't like to apply too much heat after I have added on my mica swirls because it can cause it to run and you don't want your swirls to run in the wrong direction. You want them to kind of stay put where you have them. After I finished blending this out just a little bit, I went in with my torch rather than my heat gun so that I can quickly pop any micro bubbles and not overheat my epoxy. I only went over with my torch for one spin on the top and the bottom and I was done. Our florals are from Gracefully Created. These are printed over white, so the background is clear, however, these are going to show up on any color design that you put them on. I'm going to trim off that little bit of clear on the top side of these florals so that I can put it as close to the top as possible without taking that clear over the rim. Once I have that trimmed out, I'm going to take a little piece of that backing off so I can line it up around the top rim of the tumbler. Press that exposed piece of decal down once I have it perfectly straight and then work my way around the tumbler, pressing the decal down as I am removing the back.
If you're going to add florals on the top and the bottom like I did, make sure you do sort of line up where you started the decal so that you can cut your seam on the same side. I used a piece of painter's tape so I could get them straight even though they are on either side of the tumbler. And then used my craft knife to cut through that vinyl. And then I'm going to remove the vinyl that's on the top and underneath so we have a very nice flat seam. Now sometimes whenever you do put a decal really close to the rims of the tumbler on the top and bottom, you'll get little divots or little places where the decal wants to constantly come up. If you have this, just take your heat gun on a low heat setting, heat that vinyl up just a little bit and press down really gently with your finger and it will stay put. Any bubbles that you may get underneath your vinyl, just pop them with a craft knife and press it out. I usually give it just a little bit to sit to make sure that they're not going to lift again before I go in with my final layers of epoxy. I am going to add a decal to this and since I'm not using a textured vinyl that would cover up any little divots that you would see from layering the vinyl on top of the decals. I am going to put a layer of epoxy on, add all my decals, and then finish with two layers of epoxy. And that is all. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this tutorial and you love how this tumbler turned out. These florals matched all of these colors from PDB Creative Studio, so perfect. Again, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below for me. As always, all materials that I have used in this tutorial will be listed down in the description below, as well as some coupon codes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell in the corner to be notified anytime a new tutorial drops so you can keep up with all new products and collaborations. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and we will see you next time.